Welcome to Electro Online. Calculating percentiles is a little bit more sophisticated. And so there's a number of examples. Now in some cases the examples will be very similar to what we've seen when we try to calculate the quartiles. But when you look at method number four coming up, you'll see that yes, there's a little bit more to it than initially meets the eye. But initially we're going to take method one like we did before and we're going to use the definition that at most k percent of the data have smaller values and it's an and condition at most 100 minus k percent of the data have larger values so let's say we have a small data set of 12 numbers and notice we're looking for the 63rd percentile so that means that at most 63% of all the data should have smaller values and at most 37% of all the data should have larger values or may have larger values. And so I picked three possible points, 7, 8, and 9 as being the data point, the data value that represents the 63rd percentile. So what I've done already beforehand to make it a little bit easier and faster, I've calculated the number of data points to the left and the number of data points to the right in percentage relative to the point that I picked. And then we'll see whether or not they meet the conditions that we're looking for. So I'll grab a red pen and I'll grab a green pen. And if it's red, then of course we can use that. So are at most 63% of values smaller than the one we picked? And sure enough, there's six of them. That's only 50%. So that means this condition is met. And so that means that 7 would be good if it also meets the other condition. At most, 37% may have larger values. Since 42% have larger values, that condition is not met. And so therefore, we cannot pick that as the 63rd percentile. All right, let's look at the next one. Notice here we said that if we pick number 8, there's 7 values or 58% of all the data points that have smaller values, which meets the condition. And on the other side, 33% have larger values, which is less than 37%. So both of these conditions are met, and this would then be a good value, a good data point that represents the 63rd percentile. Going on to the next one, notice that 67% have smaller values, which is more than 63%, so that does not meet the condition required. And 25% have larger values, which does meet the condition. It does get a green check mark, but that's only one out of two, so it doesn't meet the condition. That means this is not a good representation of the 63rd percentile, which means that number eight, the eight one, out of data points and the value of this which is 8 that represents the 36 the 63rd percentile so we can say that hmm, let me get a black pen now that k63 which means the 63rd percentile equals 8 remember it represents a number a number a data point not a position now of course in this particular case I have the same positions as the data points just to make it easy but this is indeed the value of the data that represents the 63rd percentile and that is how it's done.